Welcome to the tuna.com. <laughs> That's a 100 pound plus fish. Nice fish, nice fish, nice fish. Join us this week as we go out fishing with our friend Jeremy Wong on the original tuna.com. From the Nat Geo Show, Wicked Tuna. <laughs> First thing in the morning, we headed out of the inlet and had awesome conditions. The seas were nice and calm, the sun was shining, and the boys started rigging up to do some high-speed trolling for Wahoo. Within the first hour, we had our first fish on. One of the electric reels started chirping, and Jeremy got to action. Is that a big one? Yeah. Straight line, straight line. Get that clear. This area is known to be extremely sharky, so when we're getting the fish to the boat, every second counts. Alright, fingers crossed, we got a big fish. Nice. The suspense! <laughs> so the rod just like took off, started beeping, and then it was like shaking really hard, and uh, we think it might be a big walk, but we're hoping it's a massive. One of the highlights of the day for me was that I got to be captain of Tuna.com. Pretty legendary boat and pretty awesome experience. Oh, 
in the cool and down, we can see while he's still alive, he would have built up a lot of lactic acid. We don't want him, we don't want him to start cooking the meat. Yeah. We'll get him cold now. You can watch his fins, see his turning fins? Yeah. We'll have him to turn. Yeah. Watch him. That's the way. With one nice fish on the boat, we were eager to get the lines back out. In about 30 minutes, we had another hookup and everyone was excited. All right, go to neutral for me. In and out of gear, just keep right. pounds of pressure on him right now. He's still taking a little bit of line. But we got the shark issue. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> Jeez. Hundred pounder. I can't put no more pressure on him than I already have. What do you think? It's pretty exciting. <laughs> It's a hundred pound plus fish. We don't have a choice here. You gotta put the hammer down. It's just one of those things. Sharks here are relentless. All right, we got him coming now. Come on, he's gone. I think he's gone. Maybe not. You wait. No, we gotta wait. After about 10 minutes of fighting, Jeremy thought we had lost the fish. Fortunately, there was still weight on the line and the fish was coming in. We're gonna leave it in gear now, okay? Shark fight. Unfortunately, after about a 30 minute fight, we realized we had caught a shark on a high speed troll on an artificial lure. Must have been a really hungry shark. Luckily, we were able to safely release the shark without any harm. We got the rods back in the water and had a fish on right away. Awesome. Do you see him on the surface? Slow down, TJ, slow down. What are you fishing for? Seven, eight. Dinosaurs. <laughs> Wahoo in the boat, we put the lines back in as we trolled our way home. Chef Jeremy was also very excited to make a corned beef sandwich for everyone. On the way in, Jeremy gave me a gaffing lesson. I've always been a little intimidated to try to gaff a fish, but now with my new techniques, I feel very confident to gaff the next big fish on board C'est La Vie.
The boys packed up the gear and we headed back into the marina to clean the fish and get ready for a fun night. There's nothing like learning how to high speed troll for Wahoo on board the famous tuna.com with the legendary Jeremy Wong. Talk about learning from the best of the best. Very thankful for this amazing experience. Back at the marina, the resident sharks were anxiously awaiting for us to clean the fish. And Finn was doing his best to patiently wait for his scraps of fish. Here you can see three different types of sharks. Lemon sharks, nurse sharks, and Caribbean reef sharks, all waiting for some scraps of fish. That night, we prepared the hut for a fish cookout, cooking Wahoo two different ways. Come join us for dinner. Jeremy brought a really crazy setup. We have a hot pan, a fryer, propane, all the goodies. All of it, because we like to eat. We put our solar lights up here. They've been pretty great. We have a... Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, we're, we're bougie. Yep. So, Chef Jeremy, what are we doing tonight? Um, good old-fashioned island fish fry. As per Cole's request. Awesome. Yeah. That is a proper homecoming and Home proper send-off fish fry. Absolutely. Can't go wrong. Cannot go wrong. No way, no how. So, we had... We had an epic day fishing on tuna.com with Jeremy who owns Black and Blue Charters and we got two awesome Wahoo. So now we're back here at the hut preparing the dinner. Actually, Jeremy, Jeremy's preparing the dinner and we're gonna make Wahoo two different ways tonight. I do it fried and with a little sashimi appetizer. So both of my favorite types of way to eat fish. So I'm really <laughs> excited. We'll have a little bit raw and then we'll have a bunch fried up. Yeah, Wahoo's not a fish known to be fried, but I everything think, tastes good fried. I think, uh, <laughs> exactly. If you so long enough, <laughs> you might get it too. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Thermacell. I wish. <laughs> so these things have been a game changer. Um, if the noceums, mosquitoes are bad, it really saves our butt. Big time. Yeah, yeah. There'd have been no way to survive out here. <laughs> <laughs> hold it, hold the back. No, I know. It's okay. Only <laughs> Pepper up. almost got him again. <laughs> Fool me three times, right? Yeah. So we're going in hot with. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fun though. Jeremy's <laughs> trio. Well, you gotta season your fish. People don't season their fish. You have to season your fish. Nice. Especially. All right. So what are you using to season here? Uh, salt, pepper. Uh, a little garlic powder, lemon pepper is the base of the, the season. And uh, we're gonna put a little spice in it as well. Nice. What are you gonna use for spice? Uh, goat peppers. Yes. That you grow at your house, right? That's exactly right. Yum. Did you know? And every time you gotta stick a camera when something crazy happens. <laughs> Dropping a thermometer in the fryer. Is that supposed to happen? I don't know if you know that, but that's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's how, the exactly how hot is it? Yeah. <laughs> that hot. <laughs> it was really nice to get a bite first thing in the morning and then caught another fish. What? Yeah. Hour and a half after that? I, I think the other one was slightly bigger. Um, I think the other one's closer to 70. Um, they were they're solid stud fish. I mean, that's a dream fish for anybody. Honestly, yeah. And we just went out for like half a day and yeah. caught two epic fish. Yeah. So can't really complain. And sometimes that's just how things just work out super well. And you're, you're supposed to keep your boots on. We would have caught more fish if you <laughs> kept your... Uh, oh, indeed. 100%. You know, we would have caught Yellow boots fun. on, the Curious yeah. George so, boots. <laughs> Jeremy tells me, make sure that you wear boots. I haven't really done any high speed Wahoo trolling ever in my entire life. And it's my first time ever on tuna.com. He tells me to bring boots. And the only boots I have are boots, yellow Morton salt boots. Oh my gosh. Yes. Those boots, right No, now. but they go all the way up to my <laughs> Yeah, but the yellow boots. Yeah, <laughs> and apparently now they're good luck because I wore them, we caught some fish, I took them off and we stopped catching fish. Exactly. But it's all about the boots. Yeah. 
Styled what have to do with me and Cole having some experience? <laughs> me just on the boat. I, I wasn't even like scared to push the buttons. So I was just there for moral support and some positive attitude. Hey, Finn. So Finn always gets the scraps. Gentle. Please Thank don't you. bite me. You're on camera. Mmm, yummy. All right, Chef Cole, what are we doing over here? Do some sashimi. We got um, sashimi on the left, fried fish coming up on the right. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good. Just need a plate. A serving platter. Serving platter. Fried Fine disposable china. The best thing you can do for sashimi is just make sure the fish is cold. Sometimes even half frozen makes the cuts even better. Nice. All right, and over here we have fish is seasoned. And now what? <laughs> what is going on over here? This um, this particular pepper container is my frigging nemesis. <laughs> it got me too, so that's okay. Listen, when I get rich, the first thing I'm doing is buy you another. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gonna take you to get rich to buy me new pepper. Listen, I'm gonna support me. <laughs> Yeah, we need a new pepper. Yummy, I got an avocado somewhere. Let's take a second and back up and just introduce you to the man, the myth, the legend, Captain Jeremy Wong. Uh, he was the one who was driving my boat sail of E when I just landed that massive 84.6 pound Wahoo. He has all of the Wahoo juju and he runs his own fishing charter in the Bahamas called Black and Blue Charters. All right, Jeremy, how long have you been Wahoo fishing? Um, 30 years. 30 years. What's yeah, I'm old, so yeah, you, <laughs> you just dated me, thanks. Dad. So you've been fishing since you were three? Oh, exactly. exactly. You know, I'm a, I was an early bloomer, if you would. You know? What's your favorite way to catch Wahoo? High speed trolling. It's artificial lures weighted properly and pulled at high speed, um, anywhere from 13 to potentially 18, 19 knots. What that does is the Wahoo are very competitive fish. They're a pack fish. The, the speed does one of two things it gets them aggressively competitive with each other and we get to cover a lot of ground. The hook set with high speeding with our, with our specialized lures and gears that we customize ourselves is second to none. If you got a, a fish hit a lure, the fish is probably traveling maybe 30, 40 miles an hour, maybe faster. We're going technically 15, 16 miles an hour. That connection is epic, especially with the right gear. And more times than not, we land that fish. What's the biggest fish you've landed? You know, I don't want to brag. <laughs> it's just it's kind of rude. The biggest Wahoo, only probably in the 130s. <laughs> um, only 130 because he doesn't want to brag. 130, that's that's a stud fish. It's a it's a fish of a lifetime. We are trying to break that record. We're trying to we're trying to break the world record. We're trying to get over the 190 range. Wow. Existing world records in the 180s right now, the Cabo. We will break that one day, God willing and fish God's willing. And <laughs> we hope all those stars can line up. We're just living right and, and putting in our time to deserve and earn it. Wow. This is Look at what it turns it. into. <laughs> Look, at that. Look at that. Amazing. That's not bad for a, a million dollar plate. boat. <laughs> Three, four hundred thousand dollars worth of reels, gear, lures. 30 years of experience and you get a plate of food like that. <laughs> You'll never <laughs> taste anything better. So that right there is, I don't know, two million dollars and 30 years of experience right there on one plate. <laughs> So enjoy, right? So enjoy. All right, well, let's try this, shall we? With friends that we just hand dig. <laughs> just hand dig it. Just <laughs> it. What? We got avocado in the Bahamas? Weird. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. They know we're doing all the food and green without me getting into it, so yeah. Yeah. A bit of ginger. This is honestly my favorite way to have water now. Same. Chips. Oh, so nice. So nice. Can you hear that crunch? If somebody wants to come catch the fish of a lifetime, catch a massive wahoo with you, how do they book you? Go to our website, um, www.blackandbluecharters.com. We are on Instagram, Facebook, very easy to find. We've been here with Jeremy in the remote Bahamas for over a month now, and we've been in the water, so we've seen these fish face to face. They're massive. There's nowhere I've seen fish this big. All right, I'm gonna get more sashimi. 
All right, so when you're frying fish, what do we need to know, Jeremy? Get that oil hot. You know, the thing is with fish, it's, you can eat it raw, as we've proven here. Uh, there's no reason for you to overcook it, but the best thing you do is get that oil super hot so the fish sears all those good juices in and gets nice and crispy and doesn't get soggy. And how That's long are we going to keep it in for? Probably three minutes. So Cole just invented taking a potato chip. A Bahamian fry. Raw mm. wahoo and a little bit of and avo pie. and ginger and soy and sesame. Right? Mm-hmm. That needs to be a thing. <laughs> this is why we keep Cole around. <laughs> Not just a pretty face. Do what I can. <laughs> But wait, there's more. All right, what are we doing? Beard battered fried fish. So you just took your original recipe and just add some beer? Basically, yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Oh, you can just take it back. Last words, famous last words. All right, we have our fried fish here and it looks incredible. I'm gonna give it a try. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Is it so good? So good. A huge thank you to Jeremy Wong with Black and Blue Charters and Captain TJ. We had an awesome time fishing with you both. If you're looking to catch your dream fish, contact Jeremy for the fish of a lifetime. Look forward to seeing you on the water again very soon.